Hello, this is a video on a Cam Studio Recorder. Uh, the video was made on the 26 December 2011, and um, this, is, this is the latest version which you can download uh, as you can see 2.6, and you can download it from um, Cam Studio. Type in Cam Studio, uh, there's a link camstudio.org in Google click on that you'll go to the web page and scroll down to the downloads link and there it is version 2.6 this has got both the video and audio codec and I was installed it on Windows XP and it works fine you need admin rights to install uh, like anything else and then um, there is a video if you're not sure uh, which is useful on how to download and install from SourceForge click here to watch it, it's a flash uh, video and on the camstudio.org frequently asked questions page click on that it takes you to um, frequently asked questions on this um, on, on, on the software scroll down to performance and what you're interested in is when you're making videos uh, you have to upload them to YouTube you need to have them ready for YouTube standard uh, click on that they suggest how to optimize video settings to get the best results uh, if you're recording something yourself, demonstrating something on your computer, as it says here, right? Then these are the settings: set key frames every 30 uh, frames, capture frames every 50 milliseconds, playback rate 20 frames per second, video codec, Cam Studio lossless codec quality 70%. Um, you can set it like that and test it out, and in the end, you you work out the one that suits you because the important thing is once you've made the video uh, you see the 10 minute long or less than 100 megabytes for YouTube standard uh, um, you you need to make the video small enough uh, and it within that time frame so that the both the audio and video fit um, if you set it to default setting sometimes the what that happens is the video is too big and I'll show you in a minute uh, I've made some um, if you double click on that open the program there's the record pause uh, stop button and this is the toggle view to make it um, normal compact buttons um, and this is the um, screen annotations dialog that's toggle mode to record AVI or flash and this requires X notes stopwatch to enable auto pause functionality um, if you click on that, that shows you this is the, the version 2.6 and um, what else, you can set your annotations by adding a caption click on options and it tells you as you can see my text is there and where you want to put it in the font bottom left etc and you can set timer but uh, I haven't done that, I've just done that one and uh, if that's your effects, your tools, screen annotations video I haven't done that. Video settings uh, will be uh, these video options. Select Cam Studio lossless codec uh, to compress the video. The qu I I found this is the best one. This is the one I'm using. Hundred. Set keyframes every twenty frames. Capture frames every fifty milliseconds and playback at uh, twenty frames per second. And leave uh, you have to untick auto adjust to set these and uh, to make the video that size configure and that just uh, basically leave that as it is it's just the best uh, setting for it and the next one is for the audio and to select the audio you just basically go into um, audio options and there it is um, and then record audio from microphone when you go to the options for record audio options uh, input device it goes to PC, PCM and then what I do is uh, if you click on there choose compressed format uh, if you've got MPEG layer 3 that's a very good one it makes it smaller choose that one uh, leave the, that as it is tick to milliseconds click OK and um, the next one is the auto pan speed from here enable auto pan um, and the auto pan speed is selected from here it's 20 make it 100 uh, you find that's what most people use and what that allows is, is to as you move the mouse it lets you f the, the window to follow the 
region you select here they've put a new one which says you can do full screen or window the, obviously if you select that the re video is going to be bigger and I've selected fixed most people find that's useful and the video quality for the um, size for that is 640 and 360 um, that's most, most most people end up using and that and just take that uh, and that's good good enough for YouTube right the other thing is um, we close that one once you've done that close that one once you finish the video um, that and you can create shortcuts from here you can create shortcuts uh, I won't do it but there's program options you can hide flashing rectangle when it's recording so take that um, language program options and then when you go to uh, play uh, AVI file when it's the recording finishes it defaults it, you can select uh, default uh, player but it uh, it's put it to version 2 player 2 that's good enough um, it normally goes to the directory for recording when it finishes to the temporary file but I've selected use specified directory and then leave that as it is name of the file you can give it an automatic file date and time but I've asked for the file name so I can create my own and there's a shortcut from here you select F8 for I won't do it because it crashes and F9 to stop the recording F8 to start and stop the recording F9 to stop and then F10 to cancel and that works fine once these are set then you can start making videos if it changes then you'll have to open the program again close the open it and then set those settings again um, when you finish with the uh, f video it uh, as you can see it's doing the temporary uh, video and the audio and it'll be combined uh, you want it to a 10 minute video there there is I did a test one earlier uh, test one there you go uh, 10 minutes 234 megabytes obviously it's uh, not small enough for video uh, YouTube so you might make it under 100, uh, well, uh, 100 megabytes what I've done is used a nice program to convert it to less as you can see 68.1 megabytes for less than 10 minute video and to get that program you just type in free, free studio in um, Google download and install the, this from the dvdsoft.com site click on that that's the program there's 45 programs but uh, the one you want is have a read at that and it works on XP um, what you want is the web app video converter right and there it is it works on XP and uh, the program um, allows you to then convert I've got the whole thing which is because it's free there it is there's loads of programs if you select that one um, free web studio web m video right video converter add the file so I've added the test file say then choose the format mp4 is fine you can choose flash or avi etc and there's a selection for the quality and I've chosen 640 to 480 and then convert and what it does is it puts the video into into that format mp4 and there it is and the size is uh, from 240 to 69 that's pretty good um, well that that's it um, just enjoy read all the conditions there the, these programs are free and from time to time they do update them so you have to go to the site if you do decide to download the whole thing and uh, in, in case you need to up, uh, upload it just follow the instruction on the web and that's how you go about making cam studio videos enjoy thanks for watching bye for now